Good afternoon guys, this is Brian Collado with Train by Tex. Uh, today we're going to continue the series of uh, basic PicoScope settings by talking about some channel labeling options and also some printing options that you have. Uh, when you are capturing a waveform and you want to uh, save the capture, possibly send it to somebody or save it for your own personal library or and what have you, uh, it's, it's important to label your channels. Uh, say you had this file and you, you made the capture you know, two years ago or something, you weren't, you're not necessarily sure on, on what exactly you may be looking at. Is it known good? Is it known bad? Is this, you know, what am I looking at? Is this a crank sensor or is that a cam sensor? You know, what, what am I looking at? So it's important to label your channels. So not only are you informed of what you were testing on, but maybe you're sharing this file with someone else that wasn't even there. They need to be informed of what you're testing and, and where, where, where the location of your test connections were. Uh, one, one way you can do that with the channel labels uh, icon right here, you can click this and you'll pull up this section right here and in here are presets where you can enter you know, common things that PicoScope has determined that a user would use in the automotive. Uh, channel A, I have injector uh, voltage. So if you just begin typing injector, you will come up with all the things that you know are already in there that are labeled as injector. I'm going to click injector voltage and then you can go to the next channel here and I have injector channel B is injector current these presets are already in there for you which is which is nice channel C in green would be co ignition coil uh, primary voltage and channel D in yellow here is a crankshaft sensor and I think they, yes, they, they have an inductive or Hall effect type sensor. This is an inductive sensor, it's not a digital sensor. So I'm going to click inductive. Okay, the other section here in the channel labels would be any notes that you want to have. You know, say I was checking this injector directly at the injector. I could put uh, back probed at pin 2 at injector number two. Something simple like that to explain where your test locations are. The injector current I can do at injector number two red wire. Something like that. Uh, the ignition coil primer we, we can do, let's say I'm at the PCM, at pin 47 PCM brown white white wire <clears throat> and the crank sensor let's say we're at the crank sensor so we'll do at CKP pink wire can't type today at CKP pink wire okay just simple notes so you you and others can be aware of your uh, test locations. The more details, the better. Uh, and then the third section here, they have uh, uh, good, bad, or unknown. Say you, you're not really sure if that's a good pattern or not, then you'd probably choose unknown. In this case, we're in demo mode, so these are all going to be uh, considered good. So I'm just going to choose good for all of them. One other thing to, to be aware of is the if you have a channel label that is not in this presets. There are a lot in here, but sometimes you'll have a situation where uh, there's not what you're trying to explain. Let's say I'm doing a blower motor positive wire. Okay, that's not a selection in the, in the presets. So if you were to hit enter. It would, it would give you an error. It wouldn't allow you to enter that. And as soon as you clicked away, 
it would it would disappear. And the way you enter that is by clicking on the these three dots right here. And you click on add. And then now you can add whatever you want to those presets. Blower motor B plus. Can't type. <laughs> Blower motor B plus. Now if you click OK, that preset is in here. And it will be in there in your software version, you know, forever. So the more things that you add, the more things that you will save in your software version, which is helpful. Okay, moving on, we're going to talk about another way to label your channels. If uh, this may be overwhelming for you, maybe this is too much, and you want a quick way to uh, label your channels, you can click on the notes section. Uh, this method was uh, explained to me by uh, Scott Schotten and Eric Ziegler at the CAN conference 2017. He mentioned to use the note section and simply type in something like channel A injector voltage. Channel B injector current. Channel C ignition coil primary. And channel D crank shaft sensor. You could do something as simple as that. Obviously, you can get more detailed. You know, if I go back and injector voltage at injector. Channel B injector current at injector. Channel C ignition coil primary at PCM pin whatever 42. Channel D crank sensor at crank sensor pink wire. Something like that would to give you a few more details of, of where your actual locations are. The uh, note section also takes up less real estate on your screen. The channel labels section here does take up quite a bit of space. However, you can minimize it, so it's not that big of a deal. So you can reduce that. Also, one thing to be aware of is when you go into print, the channel labels do not appear, but the notes section do. So that's helpful here. So that, that's one thing to keep in mind is when you, even if you go out and use the channel labels section of PicoScope, they do not appear out in your, in your printouts, but the notes section does. So that, it's kind of nice to have that in your notes. Okay. All right, moving on to uh, more printing uh, features. If you click the tools uh, tab here, click on preferences and then click on the printing tab. You can enter your company's name, your company's website, the telephone number, and even upload your own logo of your company. You know, say you get a logo off your, uh, your company's website or something, talk to your boss, see if he can send you an actual file of the logo, or say you're a mobile guy and you had your own logo created, you know, what have you, you can upload that logo fairly easy. Just click on the browse section, uh, find your file for the logo that you want. I'm going to use this black one here. Okay, and then I'm going to change the company name to Trained by Techs. Website is www.trainedbytechs.com and we don't have a phone number but I'm going to make something up. Just 333-876-5309. Perfect. Okay, now uh, just you can click Apply. And then when you go to print your capture here, you'll notice that you'll get your, you'll get your uh, shop logo here. You'll also get the Pico logo, which is you know permanent. I don't think that can be removed. 
Um, at the bottom you'll get your telephone number, website, and then the version number here at the bottom. Uh, also, again, your note section is, is at the bottom as well, which is helpful. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is what is printed is what is on the screen. If you are zoomed in on, let's just say, 720 degrees here, it's going to print what's on the screen. It's not going to print the entire buffer. So keep that in mind when you pull up your uh, print preview here it's going to print exactly what's on the screen. That's 720 degrees that I just zoomed in on. If you wanted to get more uh, details, you know, say I wanted to show this, this uh, primary waveform and, and print only that, then I'm, gonna, I'm just going to zoom in on what I want to see and then print. And again, that only that little that that little section that is on the screen is is what's going to print, not the entire buffer. So keep that in mind when you're when you're printing. Is what you see is what you get. If I zoom all the way out, I'm going to get all of that. That's all I wanted to uh, cover today. Uh, each one of these videos is going to uh, take you step by step through the basics of the PicoScope settings. In the past, we've done some. Uh, advanced level tests and uh, tips with PicoScope. We wanted to cover some more basics to uh, help out the uh, the entry level scope user uh, more. Also, the uh, maybe a veteran uh, scope user that may not have realized that there could be a function in this software that they didn't know about. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed. Thanks.